Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. It's Monday, it is the 4th of July. I am wearing my USA shirt. I'm currently filming this video on Sunday. It goes up on Monday for meal prep and my in-laws are coming over here in just a few hours for a 4th of July get together. So I am decked out for the 4th of July with the USA shirt, some fun 4th of July earrings, makeup, super, super fun. I love the 4th of July, I really do. So today we are going to be making breakfast, lunch, and snacks for the week. All three of these recipes, 10 out of 10. I'm so excited to share them with you. And two of the three recipes are no bake. So you don't have to turn an oven on or anything to make them and they're delicious. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload a new meal prep every Monday and five videos a week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, definitely come over and join us there are all down in that description box. So we have some cooking to do, let's jump in. For breakfast this week, I am making breakfast cookies. I used to get these all the time at my local coffee shop and I wanna make a healthier, more WW friendly, calorie friendly version. This recipe is only five ingredients. So let me show you what's in our breakfast cookies. First, you're going to need some rolled oats, powdered peanut butter, this company right here, Flavored PB Co. Oh my gosh, they make the best flavored peanut butter powders. I buy it off of Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. It's actually in my Amazon store. I love their powdered peanut butter. This particular one is salted caramel crunch, and I think that's going to pair really nicely with the breakfast cookies. It is pretty similar to PB2, 45 calories per serving, but I just really like it because it has some flavor and some added texture. I'm going to just mix it with water, just like you would with regular PB2, and then you're going to need some honey, vanilla extract, and some chia seeds. So the first thing I'm going to do is make up my peanut butter. So I have three quarters of a cup of the salted caramel crunch. You can see the little bits of crunchiness in there. This peanut butter, I'm telling you, is so good. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill up this one cup with water and we'll just add it until we have that peanut butter consistency. This consistency looks perfect, so I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of honey. And then stir that to fully mix. Now we're adding in three quarters of a cup of rolled oats and then two tablespoons of chia seeds. So I ended up having to add in about another quarter cup of oats because it was a little bit too runny. So my recommendation for you is to add less water to your peanut butter so it's a much thicker consistency, kind of more like a paste, and that's going to keep it so you don't have to add in that extra cup of rolled oats. So we want eight breakfast cookies total. So I went ahead and lined a quarter sheet pan with some parchment paper. I buy these quarter sheet pans on Amazon. They're a really good deal. I'll make sure that I link them for you as well. And then go ahead and grab some of your mixture, roll it into a ball, and then we're going to place it on the parchment paper. And remember, we're going for eight cookies total. And then we're just going to take our hand and kind of flatten them a little bit just so they are shaped more like an actual cookie. Now you can either place them in the fridge or the freezer to set. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these into the freezer while we finish the rest of our meal prep. And then I'll be back to show you what the completed breakfast cookies look like and give you points and calories. Three hours later. Breakfast cookies are out of the freezer. You can see that they are just a solid cookie now that is full of all things good. We have chia seeds, oats, 
Lots of good stuff in these breakfast cookies. So my plan is to make some eggs and have fruit and then have one of the breakfast cookies. These would also make a really good portable breakfast or even a snack. This would actually be an excellent pre-workout snack because it has some good whole grains and slow digesting carbohydrates. So I'll go ahead and put points calories here on the screen. For lunch this week, I'm making a Hawaiian chicken meal prep. I'm super excited for this. And we're also going to put some veggies in there to make a complete meal or a complete lunch. So let me show you what's in lunch. You're going to need some pineapple. I went with crushed pineapple. You could do rings, tidbits, whatever your preference. You'll need some pizza sauce, salt and pepper. I will, as always, link the salt and pepper shakers down below for you. They're the coolest things ever off of Amazon. They're gravity fed. I'll show you when we go to put together the recipe, but they're awesome and they're super, super affordable. You're also going to need some ham or Canadian bacon, part skim mozzarella cheese, some broccoli, Italian seasoning and chicken. So the first thing we're going to do is grab out about a six by nine baking dish, one big enough for your chicken breast, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray, and then we're just going to put our chicken into the baking dish. And then we're going to salt and pepper both sides. Lastly, we're going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning. And it's going in a 425 degree oven until the chicken is cooked completely through. While the chicken is in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and steam up my broccoli. So into my old school Pampered Chef steamer, I'm going to add some broccoli. Add some water and get this in the microwave. That way it has a chance to steam and cool before we put together the meal preps. I'm going to dice up 10 slices of Canadian bacon and then set that aside for the chicken. So I just took the chicken out of the oven. I think I told you guys to cook it all the way through. We actually want to undercook it a little bit because we're gonna add all the good stuff to the top and throw it back into the oven. So the recipe makes four servings. I'm going to slice these chicken breasts in half long ways because they are really, really thick and that's a lot for one serving. So I'm going to get those sliced in half and then we'll add the Canadian bacon, pineapple, cheese, and pizza sauce and toss it back in the oven. First thing I'm going to do is add my Canadian bacon and I'm just going to sprinkle it on top because once we add the sauce and the cheese, this is gonna kind of form a solid base that we should be able to pull those chicken breasts out really, really easy. And then I'm going to add about a half of a cup of the crushed pineapple. Three quarters of a cup of pizza sauce right on top. And then we have one cup of light shredded mozzarella. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit of Italian seasoning on top. I really like that flavor. It's going back into the same 425 degree oven for about another 10 to 12 minutes. We wanna make sure the chicken's cooked all the way through and everything is warm and melted. Look at this Hawaiian pizza chicken. It smells like a pizzeria in here. This looks incredibly delicious. I am going to let it rest for just a few minutes and then we'll go ahead and package up the Hawaiian chicken and the broccoli in the meal prep containers for the week. So I'm ready to go ahead and put together my meal prep. So I'm just going to do my best here to kind of separate out the chicken. So I have my little two compartment meal prep containers. I bought these off of Amazon. I'll link them down below for you. So what we're going to do is put one breast of chicken in the large side. And then I'm going to put in some of the steamed broccoli. And that's going to be lunch. Doesn't that look so good? Super high protein, lots of fiber from the broccoli. What I'll do is add some salt and pepper, butter to my broccoli when I go to eat my lunch, but it makes four servings total. So let's put together the other three meal preps. So here's lunch. This looks absolutely incredible. As you know, I'm really focusing on protein and I'm focusing on getting vegetables with multiple meals every day. So this is going to give me a big, big punch of protein between the chicken, the cheese, the Canadian bacon, 
Ooh, I'm so excited. So this entire meal prep is five points. Now go ahead and click the link on my recipe website to make sure that it's five points for you. Kind of depends on what your zero point foods are, but this is a five point protein packed, fiber packed lunch. For a snack this week, I am making chocolate protein bites. Like I mentioned, we are all about the protein, so we're going to make a dessert that gives us a good punch of protein. Six ingredients, super simple. Let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some protein powder. I would recommend some type of chocolate-based protein powder. So I'm using the Ghost Chips Ahoy. I actually really like this protein powder. I will link it down below for you guys. It is a really good tasting, no weird aftertaste, lots and lots of protein. I really, really like it. You'll also need some cocoa powder, regular milk or almond milk. We're only using a tablespoon, so it really doesn't matter. You'll need some roasted salted peanuts, some nut butter, and to no surprise to anybody, I'll be using my American Dream nut butter. I'm going to use Santa's Magic. This is one of my favorites. As you can see, this is an almond butter. And what this is, is those magic bars with the coconut and the almonds and the chocolate. That's what this tastes like in peanut butter form. It is so incredibly delicious. You guys know I am obsessed with American Dream Nut Butter, so I thought that the Santa's Magic would pair really well in these protein balls. I'll link American Dream Nut Butter down below for you with 10% off. And lastly, you're going to need some sesame seeds. Super, super easy to put this together. Everything's going to get mixed in one bowl, starting with half of a cup of the nut butter, one quarter cup crushed peanuts, one quarter cup unsweetened cocoa powder, one scoop ghost Chips Ahoy protein powder, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, and one tablespoon of milk. Go ahead and mix that together until combined. You can also add more milk as needed to get the right consistency. With my cookie scoop, I'm just going to roll out the protein balls. We want about a tablespoon of the mixture per ball. I forgot to mention that I had ran out of the Santa's Magic Nut Butter, so I used what little bit I had left in this one. This one is so good in my oatmeal. This is the Yabba Dabba Delicious. This is actually a peanut butter, and it has Reese's peanut butter cups in it. You can kind of see those in the protein balls. So I ended up using just a little bit of this to finish off that half of a cup. So I have our protein balls. What I wanna do is just add a little bit more crushed peanuts to the top. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the refrigerator so that they have a time so that they have time to set up. So here are the chocolate protein balls. These look so good. I'm going to pop a lid on this container and store them in the refrigerator just so that they hold their shape. I did taste a little bit of the mix when I rolled it out and it is incredibly delicious. Highly recommend the American Dream Nut Butter and the Ghost Protein Powder. So this is my snack for the week. for this week's WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. As always, they will be on my recipe website and that is linked down in that description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Don't forget, come on over, follow me on Instagram and join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Let me know down in the comments how your 4th of July was and I'll see you in the next one.